welcome my youtube friends to the part 2 video of the real time chat application if you haven't watched the previous video the link is in the description in first part we didn't touch our boilerplate hence in this part we start our actual coding and at the end of this video you create the login page of this application let's get start without wasting any time then let's create a new folder that name context and inside that create a new file index.js you might wonder why i'm creating this file because here i am going to use react context api basically react context allow you to share information to any component inside our application by storing it in a central place and here the central place is index.js here let's import react then use state to manage our states and create context for our context api create instance of create context then we write the basic syntax of react context so i am creating context provider because we provide some of the variables from this file as props here i declare username and password of our user so here i am using react hooks by default that is null same for our password field then inside the value let's declare that because we want to pass all of this inside our chats and authentication page return all of these values inside context provider pass these props as children so all of the parents component can use that now our context part is ready go inside this app.js and uncomment this Here we wrap up our all of the components inside this context provider so they can use the username and password inside all of the pages. Then go inside this index.js and let's ready this login page like this react. I also want to import use context. Remember here we import create context because we want to create some of the values and pass this and here we import use context because he want to use all of that values that comes from parent then also import the context from context file so basically i am importing this context import use router from next router so if our user login successfully then he will automatically redirect inside chat page then axios to send http request asynchronously to install this package let's split the terminal and write npm install axios and hit enter then inside this let's import all of our username set username password and set password all of our values
then instead of this auth let's create a div and i want to assign class name that is auth container you might be wonder why i'm assigning this particular class name because see inside the auth.css i am already given the styles because we are creating whole nextjs chat app so i can't explain the basic css again go inside this and let's create a form so user can enter the password and username class name is auth form inside that a div that class name is auth title for our title it buddies chat you can write any title here then after this we create a field for our email and password inside a div that class name is input container here input type is email class name is text input placeholder is email and here i want to assign on change event so as user press any key inside this email field it will be automatically stored inside set username hook pass this as event to set username e dot target dot value then let's copy this and paste below this so this is for password placeholder will be password instead of set username here set password after these two fields create a button type submit class name is submit button text of this button is login or sign up make sure you pass capital n here check the browser and see guys our login page is ready but authentication is still remaining so for that i am using chatengine.io chat engine is an api which makes our task easy to build chat services because on this we can host our username and password of our user and check that the user is authenticated or not so if he or she write the correct username and password then it they will be go inside the login page otherwise not so this authentication stuff is provided by this chat engine you can see i already have an account if you don't have an account then sign up please go inside my projects and i create a new project it buddies chat and my goal is to build an app get started inside the project there is project id and private key that we want to use inside our application i strongly suggest you to create your own project inside this chat engine and use your own project id and private key instead of mine let's go inside our favorite code editor again and here inside this form element i pass an on submit so whenever 
our form will be submit it will call the function name of that function is totally up to you i write on submit let's declare that function first i write prevent default so whenever the button will be click don't refresh our page remove this arrow check the length of our username and password if username length is 0 or password length will be 0 then return nothing and if they are not null then we call the API that is provided by chat engine https api.chatengine.io slash users because by this our users will be host inside that platform with this API we want to pass our username and password and inside the headers we will provide the private key let's go inside our project and copy this private key paste we forget to start the curly braces here remove this extra curly braces and if the api is called successfully then we pass the promise in this then as a response so if the user enter the correct username and password then he will be go inside the chat pages So let's define our router first. Use router. Pass this inside the braces. And this is chat page. And you can see or submit is not defined because there is a typo. Now save the code and go inside your browser. Add your email ID and password. Click on this button. The error comes because by default, Chant Engine API required two fields that name username and secret. Here we pass password. So let's change that name. Instead of password, now we are providing secret. And remember, wherever set secret, S is capital like this go inside index.js that is in content and change the password to secret S is capital save the file but here inside the placeholder we want to provide password and inside the type also so now let's check the browser make sure you refresh the page pass the email id and password click on this button you can see guys i am inside my chat page because here we pass the method if the username and secret is not empty then it will redirect inside this chat page so if you check the chat engine API you can see a new user is added this is it guys login page is done and user is added successfully in next part we will work on the chat screen while programming if you got any error then my github repository link is in the description so you can simply copy the code from my repository inside your computer and make your page ready see you guys
in next part. Thank you and bye-bye.